now, Big Board Sports with Lexi Swat. Good evening, everyone. A busy weekend at MVP Arena. Back-to-back -back home games for Sienna men's basketball team. Sandwich the Albany Firewolves in their homer, hosting the Halifax Thunderbirds. Goalie Doug Jameson out of the rotation this week, so Justin Getty's filling in for the start. It was a battle early, a little over two minutes left in the first. Connor Kelly finds Heine Thompson for the Albany goal to tie the game up at two. Kelly was a force in the first half. He finishes the goal himself mid-second quarter for a hat trick in the first half. Four goals in total. Halifax had the one goal advantage going into the locker rooms and, then, and after course, falling in the third started. Eric Fennell Halifax ties it up early in the, the fourth game. to jumpstart the Fireball the Firebirds Fennell, take it in away Fennell scores time. four goals tonight sure. including the game insurer to make it 14 11 which Firewolves would drop shot. this one at home 14 11 the final however Eric these two Fennell. get right back at it again meeting this coming Friday in Halifax he's down again being some pain I felt like I saw it in pretty nicely in the second half um, there's definitely a few, I'm going to watch the tape back, but there's a few I feel like I could have had back. Um, but, yeah, we just got to, uh, like, I'm not a selfish guy, but, like, we just got to regroup for next week. Um, just be better. When you're trying to score and you're man down, I mean, you're, you can't. Like, you're just, you're pushing the boulder uphill. So, you know, taking as many, I mean, I think we took three penalties in that last six-minute stretch, and one of them was a five-minute major, right? So, yeah, it just, it, it, it's a damning time to do it, and it's it's hard to battle through that. Looking to keep their 2023 rolling on strong, Colleen Mullen and the Albany Great Danes hit the road for an America East battle with UMass Lowell. Riverhawks looking for that first conference win of the season, but that's a tough task over the Great Danes. Helene Hagerstrand had her 1,000th career point celebrated earlier this week. She hit the top of the key three to add to her 12 points for UA on the day. Speaking of celebrating, happy birthday, Grace Heaps. The East Greenbush native hits the three to add on to her 8.6 rebound day. After today, she deserves some cake. You Albany had a grip on this game for pretty much the whole time. Ellen Hani finishes the game to lead her to lead with her 14 points, four rebounds, three steals, and three assists. As the Great Danes seal the deal for 4-0 on the conference slate, 62 to 38, the final. Now the Sienna women's basketball team they're off to three and one start in MAC play. Acting head coach Terry Prim making the most of his opportunity. A couple of Section Two products and News Channel 13 All Stars start this afternoon against Marist in transition. Valencia Fontenot Possum feeds Anija Jackson, who knocks down the three. Baby had 11 points today. Kiara Fisher and Zaria Shazier combined for 49 total points for the Red Foxes. Fisher finishes the transition, and Marist is out to a 10 point lead in the first quarter. But the Saints are going to climb back. Jackson now to Fontenot Possum. Going to hit a three of her own. The Gilderland grad had 17 points. But the underclassmen, that's the story for Sienna today. Freshman Teresa Sapala has a team high 19 points. The Saints shoot. 48% from behind the arc and Siena gets a big win over Maris to 74 to 67 to move to 4 and 1 in the conference picture. A double header kind of day at St. Rose. Any 10 conference vote Adelphi in town. They're the guest on the board. Women kicking off the schedule today. Riley Blasetti dribbles to draw the defender. So Michaela Johnson is open for the catch and shoot jumper. St. Rose started the third quarter strong after a weak end of the second quarter. Pulling away to the 10 point lead after the rebound. Letitia Willis pushes out to Isabel Sanchez for the corner catch and shoot three. It's good to keep the Golden Knights on a roll. All systems working very well for the Golden Knights with freshman and shaker alum Kayla Carter. Hitting a three to join Johnson in 20 plus points in the box score. St. Rose equals out their record at 6 and 6 with an 81 71 win over the Panthers. Now, with Adelphi being in town, that's News Channel 13 All Star Deshaun Wallen in town as well. He averages 11 points a game for the Panthers and he gets the start and start he does well. Charging in the lane for the end one bucket. He finishes, he starts scoring for the whole game and he finishes a three point play at the free throw line after that. Latique Briscoe makes the most in jumper situations early for the Golden Knights. He hits one to keep St. Rose in play. He scores 15 today before he ends up fouling out. But Walton comes home to give friends and family in attendance a show. The Green Tech grad scores 19 as 11 assists to steal the win from St. Rose. 84-68 the final. The Golden Knights slip to a four-game losing streak.
A little bit of high school basketball action going on today as well. Over at Albany Academy, the cadets are hosting their annual cadet classic under first year head coach Jim Driggs. The home team gets down early. Nicholas Padilla is listed at five foot eight, but he's not afraid to take it inside. He goes up and under for the bucket. On the other end, Bobby Chandler takes it to the basket himself and he's fouled. Chandler, he's the kind of leader you want on your team, so I'm sure the cadets are happy. Second quarter, how about this? Malachi Inks cutting right through right there, right through the defense for the pre land. The cadets get in control of this in the end. In the final, 63 to 56, they get the win. Speaking of Deshaun Walton in the first game of the afternoon over at Albany Academy, it was Amsterdam taking on his alma mater in Green Tech. First quarter, the Rams jump out to an early lead. Jai Bellin sinks the three-pointer from the corner. It's Amsterdam by eight. The Eagles struggled to score early on, but Anthony McRae goes to work on the offensive glass and scores on the putback. Second quarter, instead of going inside to get the bigs, and Davier Barnes hits the little floater to get Green Tech within five right there. Caesar Thompson has a heck of a game for the Rams today. The senior scores it pretty much anywhere you can give it to him. He stops and hits the jumper. Fouled. That's back-to-back -back possessions with an and one for Thompson. But Green Tech will force overtime, and they will earn the win, 94-87. to Now in the NFL, we also had some action two games today. Congratulations to the Chiefs for securing that top seed, and congratulations to the Jags, who are now the AFC South champions. Kumi, back over to you. All right, thanks, Lexi, and we'll be back with another look at your forecast. Stay with us.